obviously. Look, what? Why? Why is he not dead? Now they die. on his weak point, what? I'm out of ammo, okay. <laughs> Shotguns. Alright, well I'm not gonna use that anymore. Let me just switch over to a gun that I actually have ammo for. Come back. All right, so we loop back to the start of the map, and we can hand this in to our buddy, the Firehawk worshipper. These people are weird, but they only seem to hurt themselves and that Scorch guy. Maybe we should just leave them alone. Yeah, maybe we should. The enkindling is almost upon us, Torch! But the Firehawk spoke to me in a dream, and demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Magstick. You must take him to the Soaring Dragon in the Southern Shelf, and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. We have to take him to the Southern Shelf. I want to see the pain! I want to be with the Firehawk! Maxstick is our most devoted brother. He's immolated more than a hundred people for the Firehawk. With nothing more than an incendiary pistol and the strength of his belief. A hundred people? Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? <laughs> He's killed a hundred people <laughs> with a with an incendiary pistol. Ah, I'm sure that's fine. What could possibly go wrong? All right, what do I get out of this? Uh, these are not well. It's kind of good. It's not that good. Let's see. SMG. We don't need those things. Are right, we sending everything? And we're going all the way back to the southern shelf. Remember how there was a dragon? Like the Flint had turned the ship into a giant dragon? Yeah. I think we have to go all the way up to the top of the ship again. Possibly fight Flint again. Take matchstick to the freighter. We might be able to just run through this because these guys are so low level they don't do any damage to us. Although there is boom and boom. 
Yeah, no, they, like, they don't do anything to us, really. I mean, they do a little something to us. They don't do that much to us. Let's just run through this. If necessary, I can escape using my deception skill. Run, 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 run. Running. Keep on running. Alright, well, there's boom and boom. We don't care about them. Oh, snap. Giant cannon. Don't care about those guys. Ow, giant explosion. I mean, the. It doesn't do anything, right? So we need to get Matchstick up to there. We do actually need to run all the way through. You see where the, the dragon is breathing fire there? Hi. Bye. Running, running, running. So the game has three playthroughs. Right, the, the first playthrough is just the, the normal playthrough. And then after that, you can play the true Vote Hunter mode, which is basically New Game Plus. Everything is harder. And then after that is the, uh, the ultimate... Now I'm going to eat you! Leave it! The ultimate badass, whatever it's called, the ultimate vote hunter mode is the uh, the third playthrough, which is like new game plus plus, and that one finally the enemies scale to your level. So no matter where you go, all the enemies are at your level. Which makes the game a lot more interesting, because like this, as we go through this this first playthrough, if we go back to the earlier parts of the game, like you, you, nothing does anything to you because they're so low level. That they, they literally don't do anything to you. Whereas uh, in, in the third playthrough, You get to play in any part of the game, and it's it's actually challenging, right? It's actually the same difficulty level as as you as you are. So you can't do this in the uh, ultimate Fort Hunter mode. I think we need to kill Flint. Because he might actually interfere with us trying to put... Maybe he won't. Will he? Maybe he won't. You know, if these guys really aren't just sitting around burning one another for giggles, maybe we don't have to worry about them. That'd be nice. Matchstick! He's coming! The time is almost at hand! We will be together, Firehawk! Finally, we'll be together. Get to the oh. incinerator console and give him what he wants, I guess. I'm still being attacked, hold on. Captain Flint. Can I not shoot him? Can I not hit him? From that distance? Apparently your gun, even sniper rifles have a limited range. Wait, he doesn't have a weak point? He doesn't have a weak point. Alright. Goodbye. That's also fine. No, dude. What? 
What? I <gasps> swear I shot him. All right. Now who is who is that? Oh, he's not dead. Okay, there's another guy there. I didn't kill him. Last shot. Ouch. All right, finally. There should only be one guy left. Right? Where is he? Never mind. There's more guys. Why can I hit him? Okay, the, the hitbox, look at this. I'm hitting that there, even though I'm aiming above him. I enjoyed that. Okay, I think we're done. So, back to what we're here to do. kind of weird. It was super weird. Oh, I need to get off this boat now. Which I think we can just jump off this side. Because there's no four damage. Uh, yeah, we just jump off here. That was completely unnecessary. Ignoring everything. Oh, hey, we'll run back out past Boom Boom. It's gonna be weird. Thank goodness the cannon is slow to turn, right? Let me just get out of there. <laughs> and we out. We out of there. Run, 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 run. You know, this, this, this particular quest, not that interesting. Although it does show you that the enemies don't level up. I mean, it takes you back to places where you've been to before. And I guess it has the effect of making you feel powerful. It makes you feel like you've made some progress because when you go back to earlier areas, you just completely destroy all the enemies and they have no chance against you. Maybe it's meant to be like a power trip. It's a fine day. Coming back to uh, earlier parts of the game. I don't really need this particular power trip. But I kind of get it, I guess. I, I mean, it's not entirely pointless going back to early, earlier parts of the game. And just, you know, because if you just follow the story, you wouldn't do that. But this particular side quest, like, gives you a reason to go back to an earlier part. Thank you, Torch. We shall join Max Stick soon. The Enkindling approaches. The what now? Yeah. It's time for the Enkindling, young Torch. Time to sacrifice heathens to our blazing mother. Second. Oh wait a minute. I don't have a fire weapon. Ah, oh, damn it! I just sold my fire weapon again. Okay, we need to. We need to get another fire weapon. Can I buy it back? Is it still there, or does it reset when you leave the map? Get your health and shields 
Uh, it's go I need to. F All right, we need another fire weapon. <laughs> I just, I thought we were done with this. Maybe the game expects you to just use a fire weapon. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. No, it's not as good. Although it does have eight bullets, and it doesn't do. It does a similar amount of damage, but has 8 shots instead of 6. Those are not fire weapons. Okay, those are also not fire weapons. Light effigies with fire. Where is it? I mean, there are a number of other places we can buy guns. So, like, Three Horns Valley, isn't there a gun machine there? But these will be low level guns, but we don't need the fire weapon to actually do damage. We just need to light things on fire. Guns! Glorious guns! Level seven. No, those are those are not fire weapons. Three Horns Valley. This is really low level, though. It's really unlikely. Never mind. Found one. Oh wait, no. These weapon machines level along with. Oh, I thought the weapon machine stayed at low level, but actually, they level up along with uh, Sanctuary, it seems like. Huh, I remembered wrong. I thought these would still be like level 4 guns or something. Actually, no, I'm wrong. What am I saying? It's level 7. Sanctuary is level 14. Never mind. Never mind what I just said. These things are low level. So we set that on fire. The enkindling? That could be very bad. Or it could be like a cookout or something. Just keep an open mind about it, you know? These guys aren't so bad. You have done so well, Torch. Once the enkindling is complete, we shall all receive our reward in the Firehawk's toasty bosom. <laughs> The Firehawks toasty bosom. are complete. Return to me and let the human sacrifice commence. <sighs> okay, that sounds pretty evil. Just head to this enkindling thing. If things get creepy, I'll make an appearance. Be careful. Yes. So we went and found that gun just to shoot three little things. All right, what's the fastest way to get there? There's no fast way to get there. We have to go through the whole map. This we can't go this way. We have to go the long way. Ah, nuts. All right. Well, let's go the long way. Although we can run through most of this, is that what we decided? That we don't really care about these guys. Might be a bad idea. These are level seven. We are level fifteen. Run, 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 run. Alright, let's see how dangerous this is. Okay, don't do that. Yeah, no, that's okay. We're okay. This is okay. But we're okay. Let's try and dodge this guy. And dodged. Alright, let me use that. Dodge those guys. Okay, now these we might have to fight. It's level 10 too.
Come on, they're almost dead. Cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him, cut, cut. Alright, don't cut him. Oh, he's still coming? Is he still coming? He's not coming, right? No, he's not. Alright, so we managed to avoid those guys behind us. I enjoyed that. 